Oftentimes in our lives when we're going through life and things will be going real well, we'll get hit in the face. Life will knock you right between the eyes. It'll come out of nowhere. It'll be stuff you can't anticipate. You'll find yourself feeling stressed out. You'll find yourself feeling like everything is falling apart around you and within you. And you'll feel like you're being buried alive, buried in pain and tears and the uncertainty of your future. That experience will break so many people. Most people who go through that experience will back away from their dreams and goals. They stop trying, they stop stretching, and they start shrinking into living a life below what was given to them by the universe. But there's a small number of people who know in their heart of hearts that no matter how much fire I have to endure, no matter how much heat I have to put myself through, no matter the number of beatings I have to take, it will all be worth it. Because I know for a fact that if I can endure this process, if I can claw my way through this, if I can keep pushing onward and upward through all this sh I will be left standing at the top of that mountain of success as a warrior stronger than ever before because of that battle. Failure is not falling down. Failure is staying down because it's not in falling that makes us failures. It's in not getting up that makes us failures. And you get to decide if you get up or you don't get up. Every horrible situation can either be the greatest moment for change or the worst moment that ruins everything. And the question is, will you let this failure make you or break you? You get to decide. Your hardship doesn't. And you got to decide that you're going to be so relentless that you'll constantly look for ways to get through it. You'll constantly keep moving. You'll constantly keep getting better so that you are never stuck in one place for the rest of your life. You're going to find a way or make a way and you'll stop at nothing to get it. You've got to declare war against that trial, against that tribulation. And you got to say, no matter how many no's I have to face, no matter how much pain I got to put myself through, no matter how hard it is or how hard it gets, I will not quit. I will turn every single tragedy in my life into a victory. People won't even recognize me from all the improvements I'm about to make to myself and my mentality because of these hard times. I'm gonna come out of this whole thing as a diamond cause of all the pressure I fought my way through. The moments that take your breath away are the ones that count. You need the downs to create the ups. You need the ups to create the downs. You need to feel the opposites to truly understand the full reality of the life you are living. I don't care if you've been beaten to the floor, if your legs are too tired to lift that weight, break through that barrier and create new ones for you. Get back up and live life because every second spent not doing so is time wasted. Time that you will never get back. You got to talk to yourself day in and day out, selling yourself on you and on your potentials. When you feel that inner negative conversation saying you can't do it, when life keeps hitting you down to the ground and you got tears in your eyes, all I want you to do every day is just say to yourself, it is possible. If other people have done it, then I can do it too. This pain won't control me. I'm gonna harness it and turn it into something better. And when it feels like that thing is telling you to quit, you look at it directly and say, I'm not going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You've been through so much hell. Why would you even consider quitting now? You cannot quit now. You cannot quit now. You're so close to victory. You just gotta hold out a little longer. Go a little further. Try a little bit more. And when you're talking about success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it is about stamina. It's about you declaring to yourself in the world, I will not be broken. You cannot take me. I fought too long. I fought too hard. It's too late for giving up now. You should have broke me a long time ago because I am unbreakable now. What is it? that will make it worth it for you. To face the rejections, to brainstorm and not be intimidated and say, I can do this. What is it that will make it worth it for you to raise the bar on yourself and say, I got some more stuff in me. What is it that will make it worth it for you to make know your vitamin that you become empowered by it? What is it that will make it for you when you want to give up and things are working against you? 
What is it? I will help you get back up again. Most people's dreams can be bought. With enough failure, with enough rejection, they will sell their dreams. They can't still fight. They can get a little bit, but when it gets a little too hot, they go, boom, sold, buy the dream, you can have it. It's not worth it to me. And their will to win is viable. You can buy it, but if you decide my will cannot be bought, I don't care how long it takes, you can't buy this dude out. I'll keep fighting for my family. I'm the one. I'm gonna change my family tree forever. That's the decision. Decide now, you're gonna keep negotiating the price or can you not be bought? Don't give up on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one yard line. You know the human spirit is powerful. There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. There's greatness in you. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will. And I'm not going to let anything stop me. I deserve this. Working on yourself, talking to yourself. That's so very important. Overcoming the negative conversation, that inner dialogue that's going on all the time. You've got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up. I'm in control here. You've got to have an uplifted expression. Watch your body posture. All of these things affect you psychically. Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. I don't want to be that person that's great when everything is going all good, but when something goes wrong, they flee and they want nothing to do with it. I want to be that person that's going to show up rain, sleep, or snow, and they're going to give you everything they got. You got to take my life before you take my drive. I'm talking concrete commitment. I'm talking a commitment that says, I am going to stay true to what I said I would do long after the mood that I've set it in has left. Because character is not something we inherit. Character is something we got to wake up every single day, we got to fight it, we got to build it. In the midst of adversity, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of failures, we gotta get up every single day. We gotta fight for peace. We gotta fight for happiness. We gotta fight for joy. Focus on how your life will be better and what your life will look like when you get what you want. You do this, and your brain will think that by helping you get what you want, you're moving away from pain and towards pleasure. Greatness isn't achieved by that one massive thing you do. It's those tiny little consistent baby steps we take every single day that add up to achieving that goal. Amazing things happen when you believe you have something. Your brain actively goes out to make it happen. Believe that you can do it and work hard to get it and it's yours. All I need you to do is speak up and say, I expect to win. Declare that it's over, that yesterday was the last day that you were a loser. Like yesterday was the last day you expected to come up short. When you set out for a goal, expect it to happen. Expect to be successful. Expect it to be positive. If you can expect it, if you can wake up feeling like a winner, if you can wake up talking like a winner, if you can expect that everything you do will come out winning, I guarantee you, you never ever have to come up short again. It might be year two, three, four before you get your big win, but you could decide now, I'm gonna walk, talk, and be a different person. You decide that. You're the lead character in the story of your life. Everything has to do with you intending to win. Too many of you are playing with your business. If you make that shift, I'm going to win. We're gonna play to win now. We're not playing to play. We're not playing to see how we do. We're not playing for fun. Once you start getting some winning, you start changing. You talk different, you walk different. All of a sudden, this isn't the same damn human being. You can change you. You'd be surprised what a little winning would do. You'd be surprised how good you'd be if you just decide to win. Be number one in your office, number one in your region. And when you start stacking them up, your life can change. Most of the time, we don't have someone there to keep us in line, to make us do push-ups and give us a good swift kick in the end when we slack off. What we have to do is we have to be our own sergeant to hold the highest standards and allow no slack. Your problem is you start something, you stop it. You start something, you stop it. You feel good, you do it. You don't feel good, you quit. People who do stuff consistently and on time, they surpass people who talented and gifted. All men are created equal. Some just work harder. 
And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't know you a dime. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. If you want it to happen, you won't have to do what I do, and that's get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And you won't have to act like you got all the energy in the world. Why? Because this is my time. This is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no such thing as tomorrow. We only got today. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game because you think grinding is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grinding is what happens when the lights come on. You think grinding is what happens when people get in the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you. When nobody knows what you're doing. When you studying without coach. When you putting in those extra reps. It's the process that makes you sweet. It has everything to do with what time you wake up. It has everything to do with how you eat. It has everything to do with how you work out, how you prepare. It has every single thing to do with how you think. And if you're going to be the best, the cream of the crop, you got to be it, not talk about it. It has to consume you. It has to take over you. That when I see you without even knowing you, I ought to be able to look at you and from your ethos, I ought to see you are the best of the best. I ought to know what you're doing without you saying one word. It ought to illuminate from you. No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and act. Whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? Is it just a game? Or do you eat it? Do you sleep it? Do you drink it? Have you possessed the game? And what will separate those of you from the rest is what you do. You take advantage of this opportunity. You let everything else go. You eat different. You study different. You practice different. It's one thing to talk about your destiny. It's one thing to dream about your destiny. But it's another thing to wake up when you know you're supposed to wake up. To say no to that party. Saying no to quit when you still got a hundred more shots to make. Saying no when your body said stop. But you put in 50 more push-ups. You can't just talk about it. You gotta be a body. Yep, it's tough. It's hard. I'm not telling you it's gonna be easy to sacrifice. I'm not telling you it's gonna be easy to grind. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. But I can tell you this. It will be worth the sacrifice if you can grind your way through it. Fear is the most subtle and destructive of all human diseases. Fear kills dreams. Fear kills hope. Fear put people in the hospital. Fear can age you. Fear, ladies and gentlemen, can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you're capable of doing, but it will paralyze you. And I ask you a question, what is the benefit? What's the benefit of allowing fear to hold you back? What's the benefit of giving up on yourself? of not stepping out on life and taking life on. What is the benefit for you? What's the plus in that? You've got to ask yourself, how long am I going to allow this to hold me back? You cannot let your fear hold you back from your destiny. You have to feel the fear and do it anyway. Do it broke, do it scared, do it nervous, do it trembling. Do it on your knees, do it with help, do it on crutches, do it in a wheelchair because you don't want to end up in a nursing home sitting on a bedpan wondering what would have happened if you'd only had more courage. You don't want to end up in an old folks home and your dying thought is, I wish I had a. You don't have those many opportunities in life to take that gamble and allow life to play you. You must play life. You've got to make some conscious effort to begin to work to develop you. Start listening to tapes on a daily basis to begin to recondition your mind, to retrain your thinking. Listen to things that can empower you, that can enable you to create a new reality for yourself and a new life for yourself. You might appear to be strange around most people. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. 
Now, will it be turbulent? Yes. Will it be easy? No. Will you have some opposition? Yes. Will I make a lot of mistakes? Yes. Will I get hurt? Yes. But guess what? There's no gain without pain. How do you stand the race less when you lost your money, lost your car, had no place to stay, sleeping in people's houses, on the floor, on their couch? How do you handle the times when you're borrowing money and couldn't pay it back? You felt humiliated when people you love who didn't believe in you told you you ain't nothing. How do you keep on coming back again and again? Or you've lost your business or lost your job or lost your home and you've been completely devastated. How do you come back? Oh, let me tell you something. It's possible. The greatest achievement is somebody comes right after their worst defeat. When they hit rock bottom, hit the bottom of the barrel, they got nothing left. Everyone's given up on them. They're dead broke on their back. They're just now left with the intestinal fortitude, the pride within. Do I want to stay on the bottom of this barrel or do I climb the f*** out of this hole? It's at that point when everything's lost that everything can be gained. You've got to remind yourself, I know I got what it takes to do this. And it's necessary that you go at it with everything in you, pulling deep down within, challenging yourself. Once you had that belief, that's so strong, that overrides the crowds and belief, the adversities, anything, you welcome that shit. Because that right there is supposed to fucking happen. Because without that kind of abuse on you, you will not become the battle-tested, proven champion that holds a title, has the value of the title. You must go through those ends. Hit rock bottom. Your worst hour to spare becomes your best as you get back up. You learn from that. And you continue to put one foot in front of the other. Because what you're going for is what you believe. When everything is telling you to quit, what keeps you going? I want to remind y'all of the power of the mind. You can think your way into stress. You can think your way into misery, frustration. But if you change your mind, it'll change your life. You just have to decide in your mind what you want it to be. You just have to wake up. You just have to break that negative spirit. You have to break through. As we begin to look at what we want, what's going to be crucial for you is to look toward the future and every time you find yourself saying that you can't do something, putting yourself down, being negative about you and the possibilities for you, you've got to literally catch yourself. And you've got to affirm to yourself in the process, hey, 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 no, 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 I can make it. There's some way this can happen for me. It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle. What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? You've got to say yes to your life. You've got to say yes, yes to my dreams. Yes to me, I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. Yes, yes. I don't care about the fact I'm in a hole now. Doesn't matter about where I am. Yes, the last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I haven't exposed all my stuff yet. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes! Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're gonna stand up for something you want. You have miracle working power in your life right now, but you've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out, selling yourself on you and on your potentials. And you've got to know that you are worth all of your effort. There is no mistake that you can't rebound from. There is no mistake that you can't get back up from. You better be resilient. I don't care what happened. You can bounce back up again and make it happen. What I've gone through will not define me. The best is yet to come. I'm a fight to the finish because giving up is not an option. Being poor is not an option. Being set out in the cold is not an option. No, you're busy rebuilding. You are busy recalculating and making a radical change in yourself and asking yourself, what is it about me that I must change? You want to be committed to taking care of yourself. As you go into action, 
And as you hold that thought in consciousness persistently, you will begin to realize powers and abilities you have. You will realize you have miracle working power in you. When you're a warrior, you're willing to fight for your dream. You're willing to realize that you will fail your way to success. You're willing to make it okay if people don't like you or disagree with you. You're willing to fight even though the odds are stacked against you. You are willing to have a spirit of optimism when you've lost everything materialistically. But if you got a pulse, if you woke up this morning, you, when you're a warrior, you're willing to fight. You fight? And you either win or you die trying. The biggest enemy you'll ever have to fight against is yourself. You want to change your life? You want to save more money? You want to get in shape? What's the thing that holds you back from doing any of those? It's you. You get in your own way every single time. You gotta get to a point where you're tired of losing. You gotta decide you're not gonna be a loser anymore. You're gonna be a winner. Stop letting yourself down. Stop breaking all these promises you make to yourself about how you're really gonna do it this time. This is the last time I give in to that addiction. If you don't truly mean it, don't bother saying it. But if you truly do want to change, you've got to decide wholeheartedly that I will not deviate from the plan. I will stick to it no matter what happens. I will execute every day of my life on that goal, on that vision, as if my life depends on it. Stop taking your life so casually. You've got to get serious about making the changes you want to see. Don't leave room in your life for laziness. Don't leave room for slacking off. Don't leave room for sickness. Don't leave room for excuses. Don't leave room for just this one time. No! You've got to have the mindset of a machine. And that machine cares about one thing and one thing only, executing on the goal. If it doesn't support your goals, you cut it out of your life. If you know it will help you achieve the vision, you double down on it. Discipline in your mind every single day is what leads to success. Discipline is what breaks through all the infinite excuses and reasons you come up with on why you can't do it. The more you do those hard tasks you gotta do, facing those hard things and destroying them, executing on the mission, your daily life will get better and better. You have to reach a point where you don't let your bullshit feelings control the outcomes. You get it done whether you wanna do the work or not. You don't have time to be in your feelings. The weights won't lift themselves. The work won't complete itself. The books won't study themselves. You have to do it, and you have to do it now. And while you're sitting there thinking, hesitating, debating in your head whether you should go do it or not, you're falling behind. Get your up and get to f work. The more you grind, the more you execute on the mission. You will separate yourself further and further from the crowd of average people who would rather spend their time coming up with reasons why they can't get it done today. You don't just work out once, study once, invest once, and change your life overnight. No, you have to be consistent. You have to never let your foot off the gas. Never stop, never quit. You have to do that thing you gotta do every day of your life. You may hate it some days, but you gotta do it relentlessly and know that in the end, it'll all be worth it. The sacrifices you're making today for a better tomorrow are gonna pay off. But if you quit, if you let up, it's not gonna happen. Stay focused and stay on track. Don't let anyone or anything pull you off the plan. You have gotta stop rationalizing. Stop making excuses. Stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. And the truth is that you do have the time. You do have the money. You do have the support. You do have the willpower and the discipline to get it done. And when we're being honest with ourselves, we know that we can all do much more than what we're doing right now. We can all give more to life than what we are right now. So you gotta decide within yourself that you're gonna start working harder than ever.
You're gonna start going to work earlier. You're gonna be the last one to leave there. You're gonna try harder than anyone else would even dare to. Other people will think, why would you even bother doing that much? Why do you try so hard? You're doing too much. But they won't understand. Pay no attention to them. They'll never get it because they don't have that mentality. When you're a girl, you keep striving for that highest level possible and you don't stop until you get it. Get in the habit of doing more than what anyone is willing to pay you to do. Because that's where success is born. It's going beyond people's expectations and amazing them. You shock the world with your results. And that work begins right now with no one looking. It's what you do in the shadows, in those early mornings, late nights, where you're grinding away on those tasks and goals. Those moments are what bring it into the light, where all eyes are on you. The price for greatness must be paid every day. And that price is discipline, sweat, suffering, enduring, consistency. And at the end of it all, you win. When you start doing anything, the first step, you're excited. You're pumped up. You're gonna be consumed with that thing you're doing. But a week into it, a month into it, a year into it, five years into it, many people begin to lose that fire. They get exhausted. They don't care anymore. They stop trying. So they stop the daily tasks to move toward the goal and they settle. They settle for, I guess it wasn't meant to be. They settle for, I guess I didn't want to. They settle for the easy road. They settle for mediocrity. They give up and they let it go. But I'm saying, no, you cannot be like that. You can't allow your dreams and goals to slip by like that. You must stay focused. Don't allow anything to pull you off your game plan. If you don't finally get your focus in check, if you keep wandering around distracted, if you keep looking at every new thing that pops up in your feed, if you keep trying every single new opportunity, if you keep saying yes to everything, if you keep listening to everybody's complaints, if you keep doing whatever they ask you to do, at some point, you will lose your life. You must reclaim your attention and limit it down to the very few things you care about the most. Cut off anything else that doesn't support you. Embed that long-term goal in your mind. Burn it into your soul. Think about it. Write about it. Talk about it. Hang it up on your wall. But most importantly, do something about it every single day. Start working a plan to get where you want to go and minimize everything else. Getting very clear on the mission and working the plan. Everything else, guess what it gets? A no, you tune out every voice and noise outside of yourself and you lock your focus on this one thing and you give it everything you've got. What is it that you need to immediately stop doing in your life to take back control of your time? Is it social media? Is it watching seven seasons of a show every week? And what do you need to start doing? What do you need to start doing every day, every week, every month, every year to be the best version of you? Because whatever you spend your time on is what determines the outcomes of your life. Disciplining yourself buys you freedom to do what you want. Sacrifice leads and gains follow. Don't bother looking for any gains when you haven't made sacrifices. You gotta give stuff up in order to go up. So the question is, what are you willing to give up? Are you willing to skip the parties, cut out the socializing, pass on doing the cool thing on the weekend with your friends? Cause that's what it's gonna take! It's gonna take you dedicating every single moment, every single ounce of energy and effort you have to pull it off! Forget about balance! You have to be obsessed with the thing you want and don't allow anything to pull you away from it. If you really wanna win, pack your calendar because everything is based off of activity. The more you execute, the more results you will see. You break away from the pack by doing more than other people are willing to. It's impossible for you to lose if you pack your calendar with tasks to be done. Every single day of the month, morning till night. You do that year after year after year, and you will undoubtedly become one of the greatest in whatever the f*** you want to do. A champion focuses only on the goal. They don't allow anything else into their mind that won't help them win. And so if you want to be a winner, what you're focusing on throughout the course of the day has to change.
What you're watching, what you're reading, what you're listening to, the conversations you're having. You must now be fully focused on your dreams and your goals. And it all starts with what you're doing today. Not tomorrow, not next week. Today, when you're great, you don't just focus on a year. When you're great, you don't just focus on a month. When you're great, you don't just focus on a week. You focus on the 24 hours in front of you and you work relentlessly to nail it. Most people go through life never discovering what their talents are. Most people never develop their talents. They have skills and abilities, but if you don't nurture them, if you don't develop them, they will never serve you. Your gifts can take you many places if you develop your gifts. And you'll be surprised at the things that you're able to do. When you learn how to block things out, when you learn how to keep that eye single, learning how to concentrate, learning how to focus in, deciding that you're going to focus to develop your skills, you'll be surprised at the ideas that will come to you of the people that you'll be able to attract, of the opportunities that you'll be able to see. You'll begin to see things that have been staring there looking you in the face and say, I can't believe this has been here all this time. When you spend your energy focusing on what other people are doing instead of executing on your own opportunities, you are setting yourself up to fail time and time again. And this goes against what society is, right? Society is all about gossip. It's all about talk. It's all about who's doing what. And it's never about worrying about what you're doing. Go to a fucking bar. What's everybody talk about? What their company's doing, what their boss is doing, what their coworkers are doing, what their aunt's doing, what their mom's doing, what their dad's doing. Nobody fucking cares and it doesn't fucking matter. That's why you don't see successful people hanging out with people like that. Because they worry about their own sh they worry about their own actions, they worry about what they execute on, and they worry about how they can get better at it. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself, every day, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Selling yourself on your ability to perform a job, to achieve a certain objective, telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, so you've got to work on it. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. You should be grinding and you looking at the score. The score is what it is. The score ain't about to change because you looked at it. Keep playing the game. Keep grinding. Keep working. And that other stuff will take care of itself. Whatever your hands find to do, execute, execute, execute. You gotta learn to kill the noise. Who cares what they say? Dominance. Who cares what they think? Dominance. You wanna kill haters? You wanna shut them down? You wanna kill noise? Nothing succeeds like success. No coach, no trainer, no boss can do it. You versus you. Decide that you're going to push yourself. You have something that you brought to the universe. And that if you decide that my life deserves my developing this what I do well and becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me, I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you. Never, ever allow anybody to make you feel bad about being so blessed when you worked your ass off to get it. You decided all the clubs, partying, hanging out, popping bottles with models and all that sh that ain't for me. I'm gonna be out here running in the hot sun, practicing, playing basketball, shooting on weekends while everybody else is clubbing and hanging out. You got your focus right. Change the way you see yourself and begin to tend to the personal details. Understand that nobody's gonna take care of your business better than you. You've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out. Selling yourself on you and on your potentials. Stay focused, don't listen to nobody. What's on your mind, just do it. Because what's destined for you, you're going to get it. As you begin to develop and expand your skills and your talents and your vision of yourself, you will always be in control of your destiny. There's no limitations. There's no excuses. Just throw that quickly. It's not about winning or losing. It's about the whole process. And you get so caught up in the outcomes of everything you do that you forget what it's all about. It is practicing. It is eating right. It is training. It is putting in more reps than everyone else. It is grinding longer and getting up earlier than your competitors. Win or lose, you give every single day everything you have. You leave nothing on the table.
It is that process that shapes you and forms you into a beast. And why so many of you lose is because you think grinding is what you do when the lights are on and it's game time. You think it's what you do when the sun comes up and everyone's eyes are on you. That's not the real grind. The real grind is what you do when nobody's watching, when nobody sees you, when you're running those extra miles, when you're doing those extra reps, when you're pushing yourself to do more than anybody expects of you. It is that level of effort that forms your greatness. When you can force yourself to do sh that sucks every day of your life, you build mental toughness. When the alarm goes off in the morning, you get your up. When you have a deadline for a project to be done, you make sure you get it done. When you know you gotta study, you start studying. That's how you callous your mind. It's gonna be painful, it's gonna be hard, but at the end of all your suffering is the life you want. Embrace the suffering. No one's coming to help you. It's you against you, period. The water's too cold, the sun's too hot, I'm getting up too early, why am I doing this to myself? That's what the normal mind says. You gotta start training your mind to think about how the f can get through this. Not giving yourself a way out. Creating a wall around all the f***ing out in your mind. So then your mind knows this is not gonna give himself a way out of here. Your new norm becomes getting up every damn morning at four, five, six o'clock, and you suffer. You allow that to become your new lifestyle. Most people try to get away from that. They want the comfort, but you gotta separate yourself from the pack. You have to tell your brain, this is your new life. This is who you are. Your new norm is you wake up and you suffer. When you do this consistently and it becomes your mentality, the sh that used to be hard becomes easy. You must retrain your mind to think differently when you're in hell. When something sucks, good. It's gonna make me tougher. It's gonna strengthen my mind. And it's gonna lead to rare achievements. So bring it. When you get to that point, that's when your mind changes. That's when your focus changes. Your dedication changes. Use the time you have right now to strengthen your brain. Push yourself to do hard sh Come out the other side of that challenge as a beast. You gotta start thinking to yourself, I'm the grittiest mother in the world, and I don't need sh to get this done. All I need is the ability to grind my ass off. Greatness is not something that you have to meet once. It's something that you gotta meet thousands of times in your life. But you don't reach it if you're not continuously in constant pursuit of greatness. Kobe Bryant never sat there and bragged about how many championships he won. No, he was always up at three o'clock in the morning, practicing every day. Why do you think he was so great? It's not just genetics or talent, it's his ability to force himself to execute, no matter what's going on. So right now, this is the time to work. You better take the short time you have now and be the best that you can be. No more waiting, no more procrastinating, no more excuses. We're gonna work. Because when you put in the work, you always get the same consequences. You get paid, you get rewarded. People have this reoccurring nightmare that there's some thing, some force that's got a hold of them and it's holding them down and they can't break free no matter what they do, they can't break free from that force. Well, I'm here to tell you that that thing in your nightmare, that thing that's holding you back, that thing that's dragging you down, that thing is you. There are two fundamental attitudes toward life and its sorrows. Those with the first attitude blame the world. Those with the second ask what they could do differently. It's much easier and much more gratifying to your basest desires to blame someone else for your misery. You know what's so funny? We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. And that's the problem with some of you. You always want to blame other people. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? You need to put yourself on punishment. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts. No, we working out now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. Every day I demand more from myself than anybody else could humanly expect. I'm not competing with somebody else. I'm competing with what I'm capable of. My number one competition is me. It's always you versus you. You gotta be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you. 
I value myself enough to give 120% or don't do it. There is no excuse for not living up to your fullest potential. No excuse. You walk out of this room, you owe yourself. I didn't get here making excuses. What changed? I changed. And I stopped being a victim. I stopped saying I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said I'm going to ride. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power every single day to become a victor and not a victim. Why? Because I owe it to myself. Can't nobody stop me but me. I hate when people give 70% or they want the life of somebody that's giving all the things. I challenge you, your life is where it is because of the percentage that you're giving. If you hit a tree a thousand times in a thousand different spots, the tree is not going to fall. But if you hit a tree a thousand times in that same exact spot, she's going to come to the ground. Your problem is you did hit it a thousand times, but in a thousand different places. I need you to do me a huge favor. Stop trying to be deep. I need you to do the exact same thing every single day for the next 10, 15, 20 years and watch that tree come down. And watch you go from zero to a multi-million dollar company. Nothing's changed, guys. I'm doing the exact same thing I was doing 20 years ago. I just keep doing it. And your problem is you're not intentional and deliberate. You wake up on Monday, you might be strong, but by Wednesday, are you hearing what I'm telling you? You're not intentional and deliberate. You are hoping that the best is going to happen to you and the best never happens to you. You got to be intentional and deliberate, whether you're making money or not making money. You got to decide that you're going to do something and you got to do it every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday. The problem with some of you in this room, you're not intentional and deliberate. You're a good person that just hopes the good stuff is going to happen to you. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. F all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today, it's about the future. There's only two ways you can be. You can be the person who learns a little bit, who does a little bit, and then who decides that this really isn't for them, and moves on to something else, who repeats that cycle over and over and over again. Or, you can be the person who's committed. You can be the person who says, this is going to f***ing work no matter what happens. No matter how frustrated I get. No matter how angry I get. No matter what happens in the world, no matter what, I'm f***ing doing this. Those are the people that are going to win. You got to stop telling yourself that you're doing enough. You have to do more. In life, it's never enough until you feel this overwhelming feeling of sh man. I'm out working the crowd. I'm out working everybody. I'm doing more. Once you get there, that's when you f***ing know you've done enough. You got to do your best work when you're at least motivated. So those days you don't want to do it. You got second to f*** up to do it. People who do stuff consistently and on time, they surpass people who talented and gifted. You guys have got to believe in yourself. Headstrong, merely tough. It's the only way to the goals of your life. Winners, the difference between them and the spectators is that the winners have a belief that overrides the crowd's disbelief every single time. Their belief is so strong, even though they hit failure, they get knocked on the ass. They're finally intentional for you to stand back up again, face that same challenge, learning from the previous mistakes, and make it happen. Winners fail a million times. What makes them a winner is that they believe it, they're headstrong. Nothing's gonna stop them. There is no excuse for not being the hardest worker. Yeah, some might be bigger, stronger, faster, or quicker, younger, whatever else, but there is no excuse to not be the hardest f***ing worker there. No longer are we gonna accept rhymes and society's rhyme the reason that we are average. Average is a weak mentality. We must believe it so much so that we're arrogant about it. We must be pissed off for excellence. The easy route never pays well. The only route in life that pays well is the hard route. When you're working out, you wanna die. Feel the death happening in you. Feel the pain happening in your legs as you rep out one more squat. Cause it'll be all the more pleasurable when you reach the inevitable other end of the spectrum where you're laying in your hammock. On a protein chip. Boy, I really went hard. I really went hard on that set. I really went hard in school. I really went hard in my career. I really went hard in life. Go hard. Die hard. Life can throw you some curves. And it's not just the things that you see coming, but sometimes it's the things that you didn't see coming that hit you out of nowhere, that set you back in such a way that it 
seems like you can't get over and you've reached your limit and your bandwidth is full and you already said I can't take another thing and then out of nowhere here comes something you didn't see coming and you're in it and in your homes somewhere in your heart these words are echoing am I going to make it when you get into a tight spot and everything goes against you until it seems that you cannot hold on for a minute longer never give up then for that is just the place and time that the tide will turn there are times when your energy feels so depleted that you want to give up that it looks just totally impossible and i can tell you from my own personal experience don't give up then that's when you've got to fall forward when life is kicking dirt in your face don't give up then that's when most people turn back as long as you're alive there is hope you're still alive. You're still here. It's never too late. And it's never too dark. And we can always turn things around. There's going to be bad days. There's going to be dark days. But you got to embrace it because that pain is what makes you stronger. Pain is the high cost of growth. If you want to grow up, you want to be mature, there is no way to do it without pain. You can't grow up on easy street. And the very thing that discourages you is the very thing that develops you. What I need you to do is I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know you're strong enough to do it because you're human. And every human has what it takes to get past whatever they're going through if they decide to push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. You have the opportunity to show the world what you are really made of. And there are those of you, you were this close, but you compromised. You let your feelings get the best of you. And you let a little pain stop you from your dream. Girl, you was there. You was running your business. You were there. I didn't quit because people didn't understand. I worked harder when people didn't support me. You better grind because if you don't, you'll be stuck at that adversity for the rest of your life. Whatever it is, you'll be stuck there. Why don't I get something for it? You ain't gotta have the best head in life. You ain't gotta start with the two-parent background. You ain't gotta start with wealth. You ain't gotta start with your parents graduated. It's not the hand that you dealt. It's how you play your hand. When people die or people get sick or something happens in your life, if all you're doing it for is a car and a house, that can stop you. But if you're doing it for your mom, for your siblings, for your family, for your community, nothing can stop you. You cannot be broken. When you have an intrinsic goal, when you're doing it because you value it, when you're doing it because you can, when you're doing it because it represents who you are, when it's internal, nothing can stop you. No mountain, no trial, no tribulation, nothing can stop you when it's deeper than just money and stuff. I can. I, can. I will. I, will. I, must. I must. It's going to rain sometimes. I will. I will. You're going to feel discouraged sometimes. I will. I will. No matter what the obstacle, I will. I will. I will. I will. I, will. I, will. I, must. I must. What's that thing that's going to pump you up and get you over that mountain? What's going to pump you up and get you past that disease? What's going to pump you up and get you past bankruptcy? What's going to pump you up and get you to the other dog on side? Despite the circumstance, you can win. Despite the adversity, you can win. I'm trying to tell you, you can win. I'm trying to tell you, I don't care how big the giant is, you can win. I want you to go in confidence that you've never had before. And every giant in your life, slay him. You go back and slay him. Don't kill him, slay him. My glory doesn't happen in front of a crowd. It doesn't happen in a stadium or on a stage. There are no medals handed out. It happens in the darkness of the early morning, in solitude, where I try, and I try, and I try again, with everything I have to be the best that I can possibly be, better than I was yesterday better than people thought I could be, better than I thought I could be, then claim one victory that no one can ever take away from me, ever. A victory that is earned every single day. A victory of determination and will and discipline. A victory achieved.
because I will not stop. It's the character of who you are. It's not the title that makes you. It's not the success that makes you. The character defines the success, defines the fame, and it starts right there. Championships aren't won in the theater or the arena. They're won in the thousands of hours in the training room, in the labs, in the 5 a.m. runs, and it's raining and everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. How you hold yourself in the small things of life. Build the character winning blocks of the things that we're remembered for. Do the job right or don't do it at all. That's the same person who has his hand raised on the podium one day. Same mother It's how you look at something. If your name's attached to it, then you do it right. The best of your ability every single time. Some of y'all are so caught up on the game that you don't get it. It is in practicing. It is in eating right. It is in making good decisions that you look a certain way. It is how you practice. It is what you do that makes you look like you look. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game because you think grinding is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grinding is what happens when the lights come on. You think grinding is what happens when people get in the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you, when nobody knows what you're doing. When you studying without coach, when you putting in those extra reps, when you watching those videos and you getting inspired, when you change your music, it's the process that makes you sweet. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. Because this is my time. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no such thing as tomorrow. We only got today. If you can't right now, there's no one looking, man. And how you hold yourself, how you see yourself, what do you do when no one's watching? If you do it then, I guarantee you, you'll be doing it when everyone's watching. Life is going to beat you to the ground. Life will break you. Just when you think you've been through the most hell you'll ever face, it'll hit you even harder. And you'll think about quitting every single day. I know what it's like to wake up every day with a sense of dread and you don't know how you're gonna make it and you're all alone and you've got to say to yourself when you fail again and again after facing rejection after rejection many times with tears in your eyes it's possible when life knocks you down sometimes you got to take two steps back in order to move forward when you're in that darkness it's very easy to think you're hopeless it's very easy to believe it's over for you. It's very easy to feel defeated. It's very easy to sit there and hope that something or someone will come and save you. But the truth is, you gotta save yourself. You can't sit there and wait for the light to come. You've gotta move forward and step your way into the light. That darkness is temporary and you can fight your way out of it. It only takes willpower. You think this is it for you? This is far from it. You gotta change your mindset. You gotta start thinking in ways you haven't thought before. You gotta start seeing possibilities for your life you haven't seen before. You can achieve more than you think you can. You're capable of things that would surprise yourself. You've gotta start using your mind to find new ways to break through all these roadblocks in front of you. When you have the will, you'll find a way. And there is always a way. You can get through whatever is in front of you if you decide to. You just gotta stand for what you believe in and don't let anything turn you around. This is your life, this is your dream. Nobody's gonna fight for what you want more than you. If it's gonna happen, it's up to you to make it happen. If you can focus on finding those ways to win and stop focusing on the ways you're losing, you can make it. Everything in your way is just life testing you. Do not fail the test. Rise up and destroy these barriers. The people who win, the most common trait they have is they find solutions, while the losers find problems. The winners are relentlessly working to move their lives into a better state of being. They don't care about the facts. They don't care about the odds. All they do is make a plan and execute the plan. If you change your way of thinking and start seeing the possibilities for you and your current situation, you'll start moving toward victory and away from feeling helpless. But you have got to affirm to yourself that you have what it takes to get through this. Your mind and spirit need to be aligned in the feeling of certainty that I will not stop until I succeed. I will make it happen. 
no matter what it takes, that this is nothing but a temporary inconvenience. There is nothing that can stop me from reaching my dream. Most people won't do that. Most people give up so easily. They never use the real power inside them to do anything great because they can't see those possibilities for their life. Your vision and your perspective of how you see your life is what dictates what you become. If you only ever see yourself as doing just enough to get by, that's all you'll ever achieve. But if you see yourself doing massive things living beyond what other people could possibly conceive, that's exactly what you'll get. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. So when you're going through turbulence on your path to success, you've got to hold that vision firmly in your mind. Don't allow this negative world to throw you off course. Hold the vision and keep walking toward it. Your mind is your strongest weapon. It has the ability to adapt to any level of pain or difficulty imaginable. It's up to you to harness its power and use it to create new things for you. You can become more creative, more intelligent, more unstoppable. It's only a matter of your mind. You control your mind, you control your life. And when you control your mind, there is nothing out of reach for you. You can be, do, and have whatever you want. The only one who can stop you is you. Some of you have had a marriage fall apart. Some of you have been disappointed in a dream, in a desire, in a goal, in an ambition. And things just haven't worked out the way you wanted them to. And you're starting maybe to feel sometimes a little hopeless. It'll never change. I'll never change. Nothing's ever going to be any different. And we rationalize with ourselves to where we automatically stop. That's why a bunch of us give up so much in life so quickly. But suppose I told you the greatest pain of my life is the reason I'm standing here today. See, sometimes we think the pain is what controls us. It's actually our subconscious mind. That if we ever tapped into that, that's what dictates most of our lives. If you don't control pain, it'll control you. What is it that will make it worth it for you? To face the rejections, to brainstorm and not be intimidated and say, I can do this. What is it that will make it worth it for you to raise the bar on yourself and say, I got some more stuff in me. What is it that will make it worth it for you to make know your vitamin that you become empowered? buy it. What is it that will make it for you when you want to give up and things are working against you? What is it that will help you get back up again? When everything is relaxed and peaceful, yes, we know what we want to be. We know the person we want to become, right? It's very easy to calculate it in that rhyme to reason when nothing's on the line. But as soon as the heart starts to race, or the bill and the pressure of the lifestyle, the, the wife, the family, or the job, all of a sudden, oh, we start to settle. I don't want to be that person that's great when everything is going all good, but when something goes wrong, they flee and they want nothing to do with it. I want to be that person that's going to show up rain, sleet, or snow, and they're going to give you everything they got. You got to take my life before you take my drive. I'm talking concrete commitment. I'm talking a commitment that says, I am going to stay true to what I said I would do long after the mood that I've set it in has left. Because character is not something we inherit. Character is something we got to wake up every single day, we got to fight it, we got to build it. In the midst of adversity, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of failures, we got to get up every single day and we got to fight for peace. We got to fight for happiness. We got to fight for joy. Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't be a victim. Don't take the easy path. Don't squander this life. Instead, live with fortitude. There's times where you think, is there anything that can justify as to why I'm always going through something all? Sometimes nothing ever makes sense that you're going through. I'm going through hurt, I'm going through pain, there's death in my family, there's sickness everywhere. But I tell you what, you can't throw in the time. It just means it's time for you to fight hard. It's time for you to stand tall. Lift your head to the sky and say, I will overcome this. I will fight back. There's always something good that can come from bad. We live in a world, ladies and gentlemen, where people want instant gratification. They want it right now. No, it's simple, but it's not easy. It's a system that if you work the system, it works if you work it. But make no mistake about it, it's hard. And you are the determining factor. 
The people that make it in this world look around for the circumstances that they want and if they can't find them, they create them. It's you that you must take personal responsibility to make it happen. It's hard. No, easy is not an option. However, ladies and gentlemen, what you will discover is that it's worth it. If people ask you, say, how are you doing? Even if you're having some difficult times, say, I'm blessed and highly favored. Because anytime you wake up and you don't have a white chalk outline around your body, it's a great day. And so I say to you, it's possible you can live your dream if it's becoming a diamond, if it's having more, if it's achieving more, if it's being a better father, being a better mother, whatever it is, it's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, and you work with the system, that you have the vision and never give up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again, and that it's you that you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen, and that it's hard, easy is not an option, and when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's not over until I win. What do you do when no one believes in you? What do you do when the evidence all around you suggests you'll be stuck in this mess forever? What is it that can make you keep pushing forward? When you're facing so many challenges, your inner conversation will be so loud, telling you that it's over, the dream is dead, the vision is gone, there's nothing left for you. When you hear that conversation rising in your mind, you've got to find that other voice, that real voice, that voice that says, there is still a way out of this. It is possible that I can get through this. The vision is still intact. I have what it takes. I'm strong enough, I'm smart enough, I'm capable of great things. And great things are meant to happen to me. I don't belong at the bottom, and I'm gonna go all out to get out. I deserve the greatest, and all these challenges I'm facing right now, they won't stop me. They're nothing but temporary inconveniences. You've gotta to speak to yourself positively, day in and day out. People may think you're insane, but pay no attention to them. You block them out and you focus on yourself, focusing all your energy and effort on things you're striving for. And as you convince yourself, telling yourself that you have everything it takes to win, that this is your time, this is your moment, and that you will not stop until you get what you rightfully should have, you will begin to see yourself doing better than ever before. Take the leap of faith. Trust yourself and believe in yourself that everything is going to be all right. Those people who can face rejection again and again and again, who can handle going through defeat again and again and again, and no matter what happens to them, they can keep coming back at it with a positive, uplifted attitude. These are the people who end up on top in life. They keep striving when everybody else is quitting. And as you're continuing to fight, as you're pushing forward, as you're doing more than what is required or what anyone expects of you, you will begin to shock yourself of what you're capable of. You can do more than you think you can. You can go further than you'd ever conceive is possible. You've got to build a bulletproof level of self-confidence that will never hold you back from reaching your full potential ever again. And of course, you'll have haters. People will try to kill your dreams. Anyone building something always does. But it's your job to shut them all up with your results. The best revenge in life is massive success. I will not settle, even if I have to start over, even if it took longer than I expected, even if I had to make extra payments, even if I have to crawl on my hands and knees, I will not give up on my dream. I will not neutralize my tenacity. I will not give up on my integrity. I will fight every day of my life. If you knock me down, you're gonna have to do it again tomorrow, cause I'll get back up again. I will not go quietly away into the night. I can, I will, I must. I can get through this. I will get through this. I must get through this. No matter what happens to me, no matter how many times I land on my face, no matter the struggles that get thrown my way, I know without a shadow of a doubt, I can make it. 
Every setback becomes a stepping stone. Every fall, a lesson learned. Every bit of the pain is nothing more than opportunities to showcase my resilience. With unwavering faith in myself and an unyielding spirit, I will rise above the storms. Reaching for the skies with a heart unburdened by doubt. At some point, your faith has got to be tested. At some point, you've got to be tested by life. And nobody's coming to save you. So you've got to save yourself. It's up to you to take responsibility for your life and realize that you are the determining factor of where you end up. Your life is your movie. You can make your life a blockbuster smash hit or a flop. It's your choice. You form your life by the decisions you make every day. When you run up against a trial, do you back down or step up? If you keep hitting against those things that test you, if you don't give up in the process, if you keep looking for ways to win relentlessly, you will have an incredible breakthrough. I want you to remind yourself constantly, no matter the trials that test my patience, no matter the mountains I must climb, no matter the storms that rage around me, I stand unshaken, a force to be reckoned with. I am the embodiment of determination, the personification of endurance. And I declare to the world with unbridled confidence that yes, I can make it and I will make it. If you can just keep believing when nothing in you is working, when all your external forces have given way, if you can just manage to somehow keep hoping you have a chance. You just can't become hopeless. If you can just keep hope alive, you can make it. Because if you keep hoping, it is really faith. You just gotta transpose it into, I hope this happened, to I believe this can happen. Life is like a grindstone. It can polish you or it can pulverize you, depending on how you position yourself. There's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it. Every time you find yourself saying that you can't do something, putting yourself down, being negative about you and the possibilities for you, you've got to literally catch yourself. And you've got to affirm to yourself, hey, hey, no, no, no. I can make it. There's some way this can happen for me. You've got to remind yourself that you've got powers within you, talents within you that you haven't even reached for yet. That once you give yourself an opportunity to try and to experiment with your life, to stretch, you'll find out you can do more than you can ever begin to imagine. You've got to say yes, yes to my dreams, yes to me, yes I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made, doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured, doesn't matter about what I've done, I can make it. If you think it's gonna be easy, if you think you're just gonna get that business started without any trial, or tri forget about it. Don't even try to be successful, it's a wrap. It's not going to be easy, but I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And if pain leaves your body, guess what's gonna take its place? Success, all roads to success, you gotta go through pain. When you travel down success, you gotta go through the road of pain, baby. I told you before, if it was easy, everybody would do it. No pain, no gain. I can't get through this difficulty right now. Through this pain, I can't. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. The Bible says he was in a pig pen, and he came to himself, and he went home. Get your butt up. You are a royal priesthood. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. But I guarantee you, if you can outlast pain, if you can get through that pain, if you can outlast that discomfort on the other side of it is success. I know what it is to walk the floor and you don't know how you're going to make it when people no longer believe in you. And you got to say to yourself, when you fail again and again, they tell you no. Sometimes with tears in your eyes, it's possible. When life knocks you down, sometimes you have to take two steps backwards to go forward. When life stagger you, the thing that'll get you up on your knees, get you standing in the center of the ring, 
and keep on fighting this, it's possible. If I just stand long enough, I can pull this off. I can do it. I'm putting it out here. I'm not going to rest until I have it. It's necessary. I'm going to do it. It's on me. No one's going to make it happen for me. I get some help and assistance, but I know that it's on me. Will it be easy? No, it's going to be harder, but it doesn't matter what it costs. Because whatever you have to do, it's worth it because it's your life's purpose. And once you know that, it is done.